We now return to Let's Play Cleopatra. Ramses II pervades the land. So that the legacy of his reign will live forever, it has been decreed that a great monument and temple dedicated to his rule be constructed deep in Nubia. And Pharaoh himself has selected the perfect spot for this creation. From the rose-colored sandstone cliffs overlooking the Nile's wet bank at Abu Simbel, you will oversee the sculpting of four massive seated figures of His Majesty. Surfaces of the monument, cut from the living rock, will proclaim the heroic deeds of Pharaoh during his great triumph at the Battle of Kadesh. This massive monument, while heralding the heroics of our leader, will also serve as a reminder to the peoples of Nubia of the greatness and power of Egypt. For while Nubia is rich in deposits of gold and other rare gems, its people have always sat uneasily under Egyptian dominion. To this end, you should be ever prepared for defense, and be able to dispatch troops should Pharaoh need them. Sandstone can be exported for construction elsewhere in the kingdom, as can other items that you should be able to produce from the bountiful resources of the region. Precious little wood can be found, however. You will no doubt have to establish a trade route to import this commodity, for it will be needed for the immense sculptures scaffolding. All right, we get an infantry fort. Yay. I always love hearing that I'm going to have to send troops out. All right, so we got scorpions. Uh, we could probably just close that off. And then we got more up here. Gonna have to wait until they get out of the dunes, though. I don't think I can build around that. Um, okay. So, first thing, we got jewelers. Okay, so we got clay and sandstone quarry. So there's our bricks. Potters, brewers, we got a lot of everything. As well as weapon smithing. Okay, so if we're gonna have military, we're gonna need to import copper. Let's see what we got here. Uh, they sell luxury goods. No good to me, really. Oh, what do I... I got figs and barley. Okay. So I can make beer. Uh, which I can sell to them and get copper from them. I do not have flax, but I could import it to make it, but I don't think I'll need to. Um, but we'll make them a trade partner anyway. Early on. So Kerma here doesn't do me any good. There's figs, but I'm probably, with the population requirement for this one, I'm probably going to want to hang on to as much food as possible. Uh, Heb here, or Heh, which actually, I think it's Heh. I don't think that's a missing... Whatever Heh over here wants. Uh, they will sell gems, so if someone buys luxury goods from me, I can reconstruct that and get a profitable turnaround. I might end up doing that. But they will buy pottery. And I know I can sell them that, so I think I'll pick them. This will be like my last trade partner, probably, because I don't want... I don't want to uh, rely on the jewel making right away. Uh, but they will buy it here at Waset, so that's an option. Uh, Menefer here, sandstone. And they sell wood. Uh, I'm going to need wood for the monument, so we'll make them a trade partner. They also take barley, so I don't even have to turn it to beer to make them. So they'll be my primary trade partner early on. Um, and then we have Sumur, which sells gems. They sell wood. I don't really need them. So those are my initial three. And then, honestly, probably just Waset if I decide to do a jewel turnaround. Uh, they will sell me flax to turn into linen, but right now I don't think that's necessary. So, um, okay. So we need to cross the water. And we have no access to fish, so that's not a thing we need to worry about. Okay. So first things first, let's take care of these scorpions. I think I'll just put a little bit of beautification. Actually, first things first. The real first thing first. Let's cramp, clamp that down. Um, beautification. Small statues. I think that rock will block them. So I could only need two there, but let's not play on the diagonal. Let's actually, let's actually just do this. Okay. So that problem solved. This I'm going to have to watch. I will probably forget. So let's go ahead and start with the 
water crossing. I have one option here. It cannot go over there. Uh, no working dock. I know. Needs road access. So we'll put that there. And then... Oh, fucking... Okay. <sighs> Probably because I did not put down its friend and it took it away. Let's do this. So I'm going to... Uh, I've already got an idea of how I want to lay this out. Um, I actually did start this mission and then uh, I saw that I had spent 17 minutes bumbling around with a layout. So I decided to scrap that mission and save you all a little bit of that and uh, instead we'll just be laying it out and starting fresh. I did not get beyond laying this out though. So we'll do that. That is an awful lot of nonsense just to have that exist there, but because they look for people, we have to have it. Um, okay, so now how did I want to do this? Right, I need to do a crossroad here. And this will be the way up. And then we'll do one, two, one, two, one, two, road. One, two, one, one, two, road. One, two, one, two, one, two, road. This will then come down here. And we'll set up some early farm, because food is going to be the first thing I actually want to do. Grab the road again. I'll just bring this like so. Grab the roadblock. Put it here, here. Um, I'm going to actually bring it down on these ones. Okay, so I'll probably want another road running here, because I'm going to have my housing units over here, and then I'm going to have distribution down here but obviously I do not want them having to walk all the way around to go to the granary, so we'll shortcut that. But for right now this will do. Uh, I will need people for them to be able to find. To firehouse there and an architect here. Okay, so we should have the people we need there. I imagine this guy is going to slip down here more often than I would like. Uh, so now let's do this. Uh, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, 2. And then we need to grab this up. Pull it up here. Grab this. And there we go. That is our housing setup. So I chose this time to put my water supply out of the circle. So we'll see how this does for me. And we can do an architect. Actually, this is going to require... Okay, I will have a spot there. Let's do a... Oh, whoops. Not quite done yet. Need to do that and on the other side. Okay, very simple layout, but I think it will suffice. Now this side is probably where I will also want to put my fort, or forts, as time goes on. That's We are importing copper now, right? Or we have a trade par partner to import copper. Um, so I hate to do that early on because that's just going to be pricey as hell, but uh, maybe we can do... Is this where we can get sandstone? Sand dunes... Soldiers and others can walk on it. Where do I get... Where do I get sand? Oh, it's, it is these. Oh, shit. Okay, well... It will... Yeah, I think it will, right? Let's go raw material, sandstone, quarry. Yes, it is. Thought maybe... Oh, never mind. I got rocks over here. Well, I got a few rocks over here. I don't have access to the rocks. Damn it. I will have to go in the scorpion den. Unless we got some on this side. Oh, there we go. 
easy peasy it's right here so we'll end up probably building another little housing thing over here in fact I might even be able to get rid of those and just turn this into a very small neighborhood that I can then use as an industry or not just put a house here and call it good but that's where we'll take care of that um, so that's unfortunate because the dock is going to have to be over here which means I'm going to have to wait for these guys to bring it over to be able to sell it but you know um, and that's a thing too why would they need sandstone to carve into a mountain? I don't think they do. I think they just... I, th I think we need it to send to Pharaoh. I don't think we need it for our own project. I think we just need wood in order to do this monument for scaffolding. And then we'll chisel it out of the rock. Because this is where this goes. Abu Simbel, right here. Um, I may as well just put it down, sure. Okay. For some reason that built up the mountain, but <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. So let's, let's continue on here. I need uh, stuff and things. I need guys to watch the place over here. So we need fire. Um... Uh, I kind of like the idea of actually using this spot for like a police or whatever, but there's, there's enough tiny one plots that we will have to use all this space eventually anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. I guess. Um, I, I don't know. I want to put it here, but then I gotta just put a roadblock, which I guess I can do. Fine. Fine, fine. I'll end up having one anyway, just because there's going to be a crossroad here, probably. That almost lines up. Don't know if that's where I want to put it yet, so I won't worry about that at the moment. We uh, are slowly, slowly getting people to move in. We're going to need people to move in before they have access to this, right? Do these not... No, they do. Five. Which, frankly, is dumb, and I'm not so sure that in other games they had that, did they? Were you able to cross the water for free in Emperor? Well, I guess you were able to cross the water anyway. So why exactly, then, is the employees needed to ship goods across the water? Because if they're able to go, then why, what's, why would I need people? I don't know. Anyway, we had better speed this up just a fraction, otherwise we're going to be here forever. Ah, oh, right. Abort. Um, I want to put down a fort. At least one. Um... I'll just put that kind of out here, I guess. No, nah, because then it's going to be blocking something, maybe. Can I rotate? I cannot rotate these forts. Let's put it a little bit further up. Give them a, a running chance, anyway, to go kill something. Oh, wow, and they just came right out of there. Awesome. So I could actually have them go, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, and kill the scorpions, or I can just pay attention and maybe get them myself. Let's uh, ratchet down the speed. Did I get him? Damn it. Oh, maybe, maybe I did. It does not look like it. In fact, it doesn't look like it at all. Hopefully he'll wander back that way. I guess I could have these guys go run at it. Would, would, would you... Would you... Would you just... 
All right. Alternatively, let's just not worry about it. Uh, do they get do they get experience for killing animals? You guys go home. Ignore what I said. Okay, our zoo scorpions are in place. We have a stream of people coming in. I will bump this up just a little bit. Um, they are leaving in a very strange direction, not using the road. So I realize this is going to be kind of useless space back here. Especially since some of it's precious stone working, but uh, we'll just go back across the river to get all of our needs for that. Um, so we will need before I go too far here, we will need a recruiter. What am I thinking of here? This one. Um, work camp. Yeah, I'll just block this off with a... No reason to just waste good space. Let's use another roadblock here. It shouldn't. It should go 12 o'clock and pop out there, but it, whatever. We'll do a granary ahead of time. Eh, should we? Should we? Should we? Before we go too far here, too, uh, I need to... Look at this. I've got Ra, I've got Osiris, I've got Ta. All of which are good, but... I mean... It's also a lot that I have to keep track of right away. I kind of want to just shut that out there. Yeah, I could probably actually make it do over here. And then I don't have to worry about it, and it just sticks out. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Kind of out of the way, very awkward. Not really of a role-playing type. Uh, because it's not part of the city. does nothing for me but it's out of the way. The only thing that matters. Uh, let's do foo... no, 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 no. We need just a granary. So if I leave that, I could get two granaries in here. That's probably pretty good. That's actually probably going to be pretty beneficial. So, we will wait until these people get out of my way. Oh, uh, one vital part of this that I forgot. There you go. So we should be pretty good for this. Um, I'm probably going to want to put barley over here. I think it's just going to be easier to keep food over here since it'll be immediate. It'll be something I will have direct access to. So it'll be all good. Um, right now, I don't think we need a terrible amount more than what I've got going. Uh, what am I looking for, even? Okay, we're still working on the unemployment, but that'll fill up. I uh, do probably should do a village palace. Um, so it doesn't matter if I have these guys wander that way, and then I can have the road go down as the shortcut, correct? Maybe we should have the road over there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. One way or another, they're going to have to use that stupid road. So whether I block it off here or block it up... Ah, but if I'm going to put a building here, then that saves me from... Okay, so my decision, then, is made for me. This one... Uh, I was about to say, but I need a spot for my own mansion, which also has to be on water. Ah, good enough, good enough, good enough. Let's not think too hard about that. And we do a roadblock here, and it may end up being that I have to put a roadblock all the way along because this guy will wander here. Um, actually, putting it here is probably a bad idea because if he wanders along here, then he will not have access to any housing. Unless I decide to put somebody here. Because how many spots do I have here? Four? No, I've got three. Well, 
We'll worry about that when we get to it. It actually kind of looks like the walker is coming out along this road. Not on this road. Who are you? Who are you? I'm the most popular person in the city. Well, if you say so. Nope, that's exactly what happened. Just whatever. So we got that. We're going to need a place to put this stuff. It will go there. How the gods feeling? Let me go ahead and put these booths in here just so I don't forget and then build over the spots that I left for them because I'm sure I would do something like that and I kind of want to do beautification back here I was thinking maybe leaving those for shrines but we have options for that later okay so where are we at with population 65 let's think about something useful to do with those people First thing should probably be focused on making money. We're going to need money to import copper to make weapons. <sighs> Which is actually very annoying. It's annoying that we have to do that at all. But it's going to save me a, a lot of trouble. Okay, what's the first thing this needs? Carpenters need to build ramps and scaffolds. So we will need to just get on importation of stuff. <sighs> Obnoxious. Um, okay. Well, uh, I, I'm struggling again to, to prioritize here. Um, we need to set up an area for the production and storage of stone. So if I do a store yard over here, and I really, I don't, I really don't need a huge workforce. In fact, I really don't need any at all. We can just roadblock this. We'll do a building here and a building here and a well here in between. And just for good measure, we'll put one here too. Um, We'll go ahead and block off... Uh, let, you know, let's go this far with it. I think we'll be okay, though they'll, they'll probably make a pretty good distance at it here. Um, we will want to make sure I'm leaving space open for here, because I'll probably want to do all my industry over here, actually. Because why not? I could, right? I very well could. Saves me trying to find space over here for it. I mean, there's space over here, but then I would not have to drag things all the way over there. And, oh, these guys aren't doing so good for inundation. Uh, we will probably want to start making the uh, the gods happy for that. I'm just trying to think how I could get all of this together, and I'm going to need a road along here anyway for the stone quarries. So, you know, why not just have... When I just have something, because that road will line up right there. All right. Um, hold on a minute. Let's do you and you. Let's uh, lower this again. You and you. We will bring a road here. And okay. So I could. I mean, waste not, want not, right? Let's do that, and then we could hook that up, jank it out here, and then we will grab that, eliminate you, put the roadblock here instead, and actually have a loop. I guess it depends on how far I want to take this, really, because I could have it go up here, in which case we're probably better off actually just doing our own. See, look at this. we got one, two over here, and then... 
So it might actually be better, rather than trying to create a loop, it might be better to just have one line that goes here, gets roadblocked, and then this one has a line on that side. And that way they're only dealing with their own workforces, rather than looping. Because I need to put pottery over here. I've got no room for this. Uh, I could extend a line out here and do, because I only need to have a space for construction guilds to come over here, and I could stuff those in this corner back here. So my pottery production could be up here. Uh, same with brewery, actually. Actually, it might be better to just do a line. Well, no, 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 no. Because if I'm doing, if I'm going to do uh, barley over on this side, then I'll have that over here. It would just make more sense to do so. Maybe on the inside. Ah, uh, because what do I? I don't need. Maybe I'll need bricks, but only if they need bricks. I think they'd just buy straight up sandstone. Pharaoh might want bricks, at which point I may have to do that, but I don't think anyone buys straight up bricks. There's no... no, no. So we'd be making it for no reason other than Pharaoh wants something. And I'm hoping to alleviate that problem just by giving money or through other means. Um, Ra, for example. They're all resentful. We should probably put some temples down. Okay, okay, well the foundations of this are set up. Once again, I'm just milling over the details, but, uh, so we'll probably end up putting my mansion over here. Hopefully I don't completely block myself off, because then I would not have access to this, so I'll have to, I'll have to arrange everything, get it all nice and shiny. But, uh, first things first, we need an export industry, and then we need to begin doing weapons simultaneous with wood, which is going to be quite expensive, because I would like to get this done as soon as possible. I imagine that, uh, over time, you know, Nubia no doesn't stop invading. I imagine it's one of those things where they will just continue to do so. So the uh, the shorter of that we have to deal with, the better. But I'm going to end this one here, and I will see you next time.